Whispers of the Past. Chapter 4, Ethan's Doubt. Ethan had always prided himself on his rational mind, his ability to find logical explanations for even the most perplexing puzzles. Kira's tales of whispers and shadows had tested his skepticism, but it wasn't until he witnessed the impossible with his own eyes that his beliefs began to crumble. It happened on an ordinary evening, the couple sitting in the living room. The living room, a cozy space filled with shared memories and moments of their life together, had become a silent witness to the growing rift between them. Kyra, with her grandmother's diary in her lap, seemed to Ethan like a stranger, engrossed in a world he couldn't understand. Ethan, in turn, tried to lose himself in a book, hoping to find solace in its pages from the tension that had taken root in their home. Without warning, the room temperature dropped, a sudden chill that made Ethan look up from his book. The change was palpable, wrapping around them like an unseen cloak. Kira felt it too, a familiar sign now, an indication of the unseen making its presence known. They watched in silent horror as the pages of the diary began to flip by themselves, stopping on a passage that detailed the pendant's power to bridge the worlds of the living and the spirits of their ancestors. Ethan's skepticism shattered in the face of undeniable evidence. How is this happening? He whispered, his voice a mix of fear and awe. The question was rhetorical, aimed more at reconciling his own shaken beliefs than seeking an answer from Kira. The incident marked a turning point in their relationship. Ethan, grappling with his newfound realization, found himself at a crossroads. The Ethan who prided himself on rationality was now confronted with the inexplicable, the Ethan who had always been the anchor in their relationship, providing stability and logic, was now adrift in a sea of uncertainty. Kyra and Ethan's relationship had always been built on a foundation of mutual respect and love, their differences in belief more a point of gentle contention than a divide. Yet, the supernatural events unfolding around them had brought to light an unspoken tension a realization that there were realms of Kira's life, intimately tied to her heritage and her grandmother, that Ethan had never truly been a part of. Kira's relationship with her grandmother, Grandma Lin, had always been one of deep affection and reverence. Grandma Lin was the keeper of stories, the bridge to Kira's ancestral past, and the guiding force in her life. Her death had left a void in Kira's heart, a void that the mysterious events surrounding the pendant seemed to fill, connecting her to her grandmother in ways she hadn't anticipated. It was this connection, this unfolding journey into her family's legacy, that Kira longed to share with Ethan, to bring him into this part of her world. As Ethan began his quest for understanding, diving into the history of the pendant, consulting ancient texts, and seeking out experts in the paranormal, he did so not just in search of answers, but in an effort to mend the gap that had formed between him and Kira. His journey was one of transformation, a reluctant acceptance that the world was far more complex and mysterious than his logic could contain. Kira watched Ethan's transformation with a mix of relief and apprehension. His willingness to embrace the unknown, to stand by her as they navigated this uncharted territory, brought them closer. Yet, she couldn't shake the fear of what lay ahead. The pendant had not only opened the door to her family's secrets, but had also invited forces into their lives that they were ill-prepared to understand, let alone confront.